up against the clock. Our first contestant, the pride of Allentown, Pennsylvania, where they've even named a day after her, Rich Sally Cole. From Holliston, Massachusetts, the home of former Major League First Baseman, a career 254 hitter named Mark Sweeney, please welcome McKay Hoppin. And our returning champion from Oakland, California, his three-day winning total $10 in Hanukkah Gale. Say hello to Isaac Totner. And now, the host of Up Against the Clock, Steve Cole. Oh, thank you, Bill Wolf. Thank you, contestants. Thank you, studio audience. And thank you for joining us at home for another action-packed edition of Up Against the Clock. Contestants, welcome. We are glad you are here today. I think you all know the rules by now. We have three rounds of play. Wrong answers will cost you. And there are a few instant bonuses scattered in these questions. As always, I must remind the studio audience, please, no outbursts. These contestants deserve and demand absolute concentration when they're up against the clock. And with that, I will ask you, contestants, are you ready to play? We're ready. Ready, Steve. Sounds ready. <laughs> Putting 100 seconds on the clock. We're going to go to the first round, the 100-point round. We have 100 seconds on the clock. And we go. The unemployment rate fell this week to exactly 7%. In what year was it last lower than 7%? Sally. <laughs> you need an answer. I'm going to go with... 1730, Steve. Incorrect. McKay. 2008. 2008 is correct. 100 points for McKay. 100 point question. 8, 5, or 4. How many days is the House of Representatives scheduled to be? Yeah, uh, Sally. I'm going to go with 26, Steve. Wasn't one of the choices. Incorrect. <laughs> A uh, hundred point question, William Bratton, uh, I'm sorry, that question's on the floor for everybody else. I was so floored by that answer. Uh, eight, five, or four, how many days is the House of Representatives scheduled to be in session between now and the end of the year? Okay. Five. Incorrect. Uh, Isaac. Four. Four is correct. hundred points for Isaac. hundred point question, William Bratton, who was tapped this week by incoming New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio to serve as police commissioner, once held the same post under Rudy Giuliani and in West Coast City. Isaac. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is correct. He was in first, Sally. hundred point question, Christy Fox, who was appointed this week to the number two position in the Pentagon, was also the inspiration for the female lead opposite Isaac. Opposite Tom Cruise in Top Gun. In Top Gun is correct. hundred points, and this is an instant bonus. Top Gun was the top domestic grossing movie of 1986. What down under comedy finished as a close second that year? Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile oh, Dundee. It is a hundred more points. Hundred points. Oh, that brings us to the end of the round. Isaac with that bonus goes to 300. McKay at zero. Sally with some unorthodox guessing work at negative 200. But this takes us to the 200 point round. Value doubles on these questions. We put 100 seconds on the clock. And with round two, we now begin. Speaking Friday, at a GOP opening of an African-American outreach office, Senator Rand Paul said it's, quote, the beginning of a new Republican Party in what city did he... Sally. I'm going to go with Crocodile Dundee, Steve. That's, I'm not sure why you are, but that's incorrect. In what city did he make those remarks? McKay. Detroit. Detroit is correct. 200 oh, points for McKay. 200-point question. The man who managed Bill de Blasio's successful campaign for mayor of New York abruptly quit his new role this week as the campaign manager for this... Florida Democrat running for governor. Isaac. Charlie Chris. Charlie Chris, 200 points for Isaac. 200 point question. Filing for re election on Tuesday. This scandal plagued D.C. mayor announced that he would seek a second term. Sally. I'd like to call my K part. Um, can I get my K part? Not, a, not an option. McKay or Isaac? <laughs> The two who seem to actually want to play the game. McKay. Marion Perry. Incorrect. Ah. Isaac. See, he can't play. I didn't Vincent see. Gray is running for re-election oh. as the mayor of Washington. 200 point question. This former NBA star who has made several high pro visits to North Korea was recently Isaac. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman for 200 points. This is another instant bonus question. When he played in the NBA, Isaac, what was Dennis Rodman's nickname? Dennis Rodman's nickname? Oh, the worm. The worm it was. 200 more points for Isaac. 
It's running away with this right now. Twitter point question. This prominent Catholic university filed suit on Tuesday opposing birth control provisions in McKay. Notre Dame. Notre Dame it is. University of Notre Dame. 200 point question. It was reported this week that just one day after he leaves New York City Hall, Mayor Michael Bloomberg will travel to this state to, to raise money for U.S. Senator Brian Schatz. <laughs> Sally. I'm going to go with Dennis Rodman. Incorrect. He's out to Hawaii for appointed Senator Brian Schatz the day after he leaves office. The end of round two. Isaac has pulled ahead with 1,000 points. McKay at 200. Sally at negative 600. She is, uh, she is down in Lawrence O'Donnell territory there. We have a uh, 300-point uh, round, though. This is the Ph.D. level. Lots well, can change really with the 300-point questions. The game will be decided here. We put 100 seconds on the clock. 300-point round begins now. Saddled with the worst credit rating in the country, this blue state enacted sweeping pension reforms that will cut benefits for state workers and save an estimated $160 billion over the next 30 years. State? State. We'll call time. Illinois is the answer to that one. 300-point question. Impressive. What embattled red state Democratic senator launched a television ad this week invoking religion and calling the Bible his, quote, North Star? The music in my ear is really nice. We'll call time. It's Arkansas's Mark Pryor who launched that ad this week. 300-point question. After months of speculation, reports surfaced on Friday that this long-serving Mississippi Republican Senator Isaac. Thad Cochran. Thad Cochran will seventh term in 2014. 300 more points for Isaac. 300-point question. This former New Hampshire Republican senator announced last Sunday that he will seek to challenge Democratic incumbent Gene Shaheen in next year's Senate election. Sally. Thad Cochran. Thad Cochran is incorrect. I've noticed a pattern here. The former New Hampshire Republican senator who would like to challenge Gene Shaheen next year. Isaac or McKay? At least I had an answer. The answer is Bob Smith, former Senator Bob Smith. 300-point question. As a government budget deadline approaches, what program, according to Politico, emerged Friday as the possible derailment in any compromise between congressional budget negotiators, uh, Democrat Patty Murray and Republican Paul Ryan? What program is the stumbling block? Isaac? Unemployment benefits? Unemployment benefits is the answer for 300. 300-point 300 question. Congressman Randy Forbes, according to an article in Politico, is pressuring the National Republican Congressional Committee not to financially support Republican candidates who are what? Women! No! Oh, gay. McKay. Gay is correct. 300 points from McKay. That, that brings us to the end of the game. The final score, Isaac has tied the all-time record Jeez. with 1,600 points. McKay with 500. He Sally has set a record yeah, as well. Like, he was doping. With negative 1,200. Like, he was doping. Isaac, we have a prize package for you, and Bill Wolf is going to tell you all about it. As our champion, you have your name printed in exquisite Sharpie on the coveted Up Against the Clock Gold Cup. And you'll get to take the trophy home with you wow, and show you. it off to friends, family, and local school children for exactly.